experiment. It's alternate. Pass injection into the upper side area cause giant black mold. The biochemical tablets proved in contrast to the sulfonamate ineffective. Twelve clearly died. Furthermore, the research results were falsified because the prisoner elderly had secretarily given some of the clergy the effective sulfonamide. One of those saved was a young chaplain, Casimir Rogash Maniansky, later to become Archbishop in Poland. Oh my. I can help you with that, but uh, basically they did so biochemical map. We are in experiments Dachau. and one of the survivors and later became the Munich Archbishop in Poland. Munich is up there. So it says disease and treatment of the sick. There's danger to be, you know, so don't come in, you get infected. Death. Just death. <coughs> well, those are the ovens in the large crematorium building. Eric X after the liberation. And that is a gas chamber in the large crematorium building after liberation too. Disinfection danger. So she Don't cannot come in. in. This is a few inside the barrack of the liberation. So with those people. Prisoners working in the courtyard as SS troops march so And here is a, a main concentration camp in Europe. It's a map of them spreading out all over, or all over Europe. Buchenwald, Lossenburg, Groß Rosen, Auschwitz, Krakow, Warschau, Lublin, Dachau. Natzweiler, Herzogenbusch, Neuen Gamma in Hamburg, Bergen-Belsen. Yeah. Okay, that is a crematorium ovens in the Buchenwald concentration camp. Okay, now I want to say you something. Dates arrivals and departures in the concentration camp from June to November 1942. Deliveries are in June 10,000. Oh, I tell you the total from from June till November. Okay, one hundred nine thousand eight hundred sixty-one deliveries. Relays, 4,711, death, 70,610, and executions, 9,267, just in the few months. Oops, I'm sorry. From June to November. People, people, people. This so is 
that is this a is still uh, doing an experiment, high altitude experiment. Those are prisoners with food pails on the way to the barracks and in the background the prisoner kitchen. And is that that's prisoner kitchen with food pails on the January 28th, 1938. The prisoners of the kitchen detail after the liberation. Prisoner kitchen again around 1941 till 42. So, every written word was forbidden and the outer risk being sent to the bunker, bun bunker or Bunker is death. the hole. So, this was something normal. It occurred everywhere. Suicides. Punishment. After the start of the war, punishment was inflicted in an even cooler manner. manner. For instance, the torture of pole hanging was made more horrific by hanging the prisoners from a beam in the back so that they now hung suspended and no longer against the pole. Draconian penalties were imposed, oops, I'm sorry, imposed for the slightest reason, for instance, for insufficient work performance for an imperfectly made bed. But for whenever a fingerprint could be seen on the surface of a lager or the trace of a dried water drop in the eating bowl, whenever a cigarette, pot or tobacco crumble was to be found in the pockets, whenever a button was missing or not done up, whenever a prisoner had his hands in his pockets or was coughed doing other similar punish punishable acts. Punishable acts. So those are newspapers. And what is this? Devastating lesson for Serbs and Greeks betrayed and sold out by Churchill and Roosevelt. It's that Middle Europe in its last days. Floggings. This is on the pole. Someone hanging suspended. It's a few along the corridor of the camp prisoner after the liberation. Standing at attention in the roll call your area. At roll call, standing at attention at roll call. The sleeping room, 1938. <coughs> and this one from 1933. Now the prisoners listen to a concert.
So that is a Persian uniform from 1938. Not high. <laughs> so that person is Ludwig Göring. And he's Hans Adler. So those are identity patches of the various prisoner groups in the whole concentration camp. We're going to get back to those again here in a few minutes. These are identification patches. Political. The view from the inside, that building here. So, when the prisoners arrived, they were regularly sworn up at treatment and beaten. As new arrivals, they were subjected to a brutal and degrading at at Madden's brutal and degrading at the personal data data were registered by the political division, and they were given a lecture from a product product custody camp leader. The prisoners were brought into this room. The um, it was an there, interrogation room. There they had to hand over their clothing and everything else that they had taken with them. They left the room next and were taken to the prisoner's bed. They handed over their no belongings and were escorted out if naked. They would ever leave the concentration camp again. Some of them knew they would never leave the place again. So I'm walking now around. They are in a weighted now. There's Dieter, he makes pictures from you. So you have a little picture show again. Some then. of the pictures will <laughs> be on the on the web page. High strangeness dot TV. And here is a monument. Scared, um, screaming people. So what I'm thinking about it. And there, that's the first part of, um, of the inserts. Now I'm going to read you something here. Some of this, uh, some of the papers that were not shown on this clip, it said there was a big proclamation on the German folk or the people. It says that the, um, the government of the illegal November um, criminals of Berlin uh, has been done away with, and, and now provisorish or temporary uh, government has been formed. It is the German national regime. And that was signed by General Ludendorff, A.D. Hitler, General Losvo, and Obst von Schweizer. I can't speak German very well anyway. Um, we have another clip. That's where we physically take you into some of these buildings. Um,